Morning YouTube, Southern Yankee back at it again. I know the world's going crazy right now with brush fires and then of course the soap opera of modern day politics. But I just want to, got a few things that I want to talk to you guys about. First of all, if anybody has not seen Newt Gingrich on Fox News last week, this man literally thrown George the Rhino Saurus under the bus with his agenda. And they even tried to cut him off. So if you guys missed that feed, go over to Restricted Republic. Watch what Lisa Haven has covered on that. That piece was amazing. I totally threw him underneath the bus. Another thing I want to talk about. Just recently, uh, I had a pup that I had to vaccinate. And uh, four days after I gave him his Parvo vaccination, he showed signs of Parvo and passed away. Uh, I'm not blaming the, the company that made it because if you look at the disclosure, there's a 2% chance of this happening to dogs. But it makes you wonder about vaccinations. So I've done a little research. The difference between medication and vaccinations are medication has to go through a trial period of several years before it gets administered. Uh, and they do all kinds of, they do in-house studies. Uh, they take volunteers. I mean, they put in depths for medication. Vaccines, on the other hand, do not have to follow the regulations as medicine. So some of the vaccinations out there, which I'm expecting you guys to research, uh, they've only had a testing of maybe 5 days to 14 days, even some of them as low as 72 hours. So it makes me wonder about the vaccinations not only in our pets, but in our children. Why are vaccinations not following other medical regulations like medications? Good question. And it has to do with money. They want to push a vaccination as quickly as possible, especially now with today's crisis. They're trying to push a vaccine that has not really been trial tested. Now, as always, I'm a big advocate for people getting involved in their, their politics and their government. These vaccination regulations can be changed if we get out there and petition and get our voices out. So it's up to you, the American people, that can put an end to this. You just got to stand up. Which brings me to a lot of people. Um, I've been trying to promote this channel, and there are a lot of people out there that are like, well, I don't get involved in politics. We should. The reality of it is, folks, if we don't get involved, they are looking forward to those people who don't get involved because why? They will have somebody make a decision for you on a benefactor in which they get a profit from. So you might not believe in politics, but this is your country. So if you want things set right, you got to get out there. You got to register yourself. You got to get your voice heard. You need to step up, America. If we don't, we're going to fall. And like I said before, we are the focal point of the world. A lot of the countries out there look towards us for freedom. And if the United States buckles into socialism or Marxism or communism, we're going we're gonna to lose the respect from all the other countries that look to us to help liberate their situations. Uh, on a, uh, another note, the gay community, uh, mad props to the gay community. You guys have been stepping up trying to put an end to this pedophilia as a sexual orientation. Mad props to all of you guys. Much respect. Um, I want to talk a little bit about the myth of white supremacy. Now this is just an observation. And some people might get a little upset with this. But white supremacy is an agenda pushed by the elitists in our country. And there's a reason behind it. See, what these elitists want is they want loyal subjects, loyal servants who don't ask questions, who obeys all the commands and complies to everything they set foot. Now, ladies and gentlemen, the reason why they have triggered the white culture for this, and you're all going to get upset, but if you take and look at the observation of it, why are white people selected for such an agenda? Because we are the easiest to manipulate and brainwash. Swear to God, just pay attention, look around you. It's right out there. We are easy to manipulate. There's a handful of us that step out of that shell. They call us the awoken. 
or as the CIA calls us, conspiracy theorists. But the fact that white culture has always been prone to keep up with the Joneses. Oh, we've got to have the newest car. We've got to have that iPhone, which is in fact a tracking device. This video that I'm recording to you guys right now is on a federal tracking device. They have calculated all my data, all my information, and it's stored to be used for uh, marketing purposes or even uh, criminal purposes. This phone is a tracking device. Uh, the only reason why I still use it is, well, you know, I know it's a tracking device. I'm not afraid. It is what it is. Doesn't mean I'm not going to shoot my mouth off. Because believe me, when they come to take me away, I'm going to be running my mouth the whole damn time. I promise you. Uh, so, what we need to do is we need to step outside the box. You want that Gucci bag? Find a knockoff. Save you some money. We spend too much money appeasing what our corporate overlords want from us, okay? And now that we're talking about saving some money, I want to give a shout out to Dylan Scott and Susie, what was Susie's last name? Camless? Well... I got Dylan memorized. It's Dylan Scott, but Susie works there too at Two Peas in a Pod. If you have never been to Two Peas in a Pod, Northeast Alabama, they are located off of 75, Route 75 and Fife. And this store is amazing. They've got everything from electronics, old school and new, clothing. They carry air compressors, generators, and they have a layaway program. So if you have a chance, stop in, see Susie, see Dylan. Get you your merchandise. Like I said, layaway program. You need that new air compressor to put in your garage, guys? Boom. Go talk to Susie and Dylan. Y'all, this is our country. If we don't stand now and do something, it's going to be overrun by Marxists, communists, socialists, and owned by the industry itself. And we can't have that. This is the land of the free, the home of the brave. My patriots out there doing their thing. Um, I have to get another mad prop to JD out in Arkansas. JD, if you're watching, I have a lot of respect for you. Ladies and gentlemen, this man used to be part of the Aryan Brotherhood. And he actually paid attention to some of the words I said and did some research. And he unaffiliated himself. And he's out there trying to make a change for the better. So much love, much respect. Uh, Y'all get out there, get your voices heard, get your opinions out there. Help shape our country. Let's get our economy back on the roll. Um, <laughs> on a funny note, ladies and gentlemen, I live in the state of Alabama. And right now they have hiked up the prices of milk. Beef products are hard to find. I'm surrounded by cows everywhere I go. Why is this happening? Why is this happening? It's about control. It's about control and we need to stop complying. I've seen people every day now since uh, Governor Ivey has extended our mask mandate until late October. People are just like, they're done with it. There are people out there not wearing their masks. We're, we're tired of the political agenda. And the only way it's going to stop is if we stand up together. So, much love to my patriots. I'll see you all next week. Be good. Go start your revolution. Go get your partitions. And for God's sakes, vote this November. It's all on you. Peace out, guys.